prepared a care package for you to get started. Oh, she's so sweet. I know I am. So we're going to unpack all the things in here. And uh, you get to introduce this to your boys because um, some of the things are going to be easy for your kids to see, others not. So you have a copy of this? Yes. Okay, so I brought it just in case. Yes. All right, so then I have something to go on your fridge. Have you seen that before? Oh, okay. So that is a fridge guide. So when I'm trying to teach my kids like what to eat, I put that on the fridge and I tell them, hey, pick stuff in there first. Uh, and it just yeah. says, awesome. uh, if you want to know what's good, better, and best uh, for keto foods, uh, it's backwards from what they learned at school. <laughs> <laughs> the food guide is inside out and upside down. And it's really hard because you're like, um, I'm pretty sure that's the right rules. And just like with anything, it's divided into good, better, and best choices. So you're yes. not going to show up with the perfect choices in life. That's not reasonable. Right. But if you're saying, all right, somewhere on this <gasps> list. Black coffee's on this list, folks. <laughs> Black coffee's, and it's under the best column. <laughs> <laughs> You'll live. See? You will live. Um, Yay! It, it, oh, it's got a magnet on it. Yeah. That. I put my little superhero fat on there and he is not fat, he is fit. Um, but this is also the same information but put in a little guide that you can take to the grocery store and you say, I don't know what to shop for. Yeah. I am lost. And again, if you look at some of the lists out there for the keto diet, they put these perfect lists up there. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, no, no. You just need a lot of fat, period. Uh, and then you get better as time goes on. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've had several like angry emails of people saying, you just need to write out the list of stuff I should eat. Yeah. And that's ridiculous because you should develop the palate for what you want. And there are mm -hmm. so many foods on the list that mm -hmm. I, I will, you won't like what I like. But that is your little guide to go in the grocery, in your bag when you go grocery shopping. Okay. Those were the easy things. Okay. So I brought you things that I thought would make sure your arm for success. <laughs> okay. So this is Grandma Rose's uh, special bone broth. Okay. So it's frozen right now, but the key that you're going to notice is when it thaws out, it's still like jello when it's raw, when it's uh, like at room temperature. And the reason that's good is because there is so much, um, it's actually glucosamine chondroitin that's in it. Um, and my knee? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Do you want to know how she does that? Whose bones did she use? Um, they're chicken bones, so chicken, oh. beef, pork. So she probably just mixed a bunch of bones together, put them in the Instapot, and then um, put some water in there, and then take it through a cheesecloth. But the secret ingredient, do you have an Instapot? I have a crock air fryer pot? and a crock pot. Okay, uh, so the crock pot, you actually have to cook the, the bone broth for like three days, so nobody does that. Uh, so an Instapot, you could have like... one. Yeah, perfect. Because I brought you a very special treat. So oh. these are the secret ingredients to any good bone broth. And this is the part where I knew you would not go get these. These are chicken feet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right? Uh, so chicken feet <laughs> turn out to be the secret ingredient that you need to make good bone broth. So you should just give those to your mother and say, Mom... You're gonna throw in a whole bunch of chicken bones left over from like rotisserie chicken. And then you're gonna put some chicken feet in there. You're gonna put some water in there, a little bit of salt. You're gonna cook it for four hours. And out comes this delicious stuff with like the- You just eat this plain? Well, so I use uh, chick bone broth. Like when mom was really sick, mm -hmm. this is what she would have a half, a fourth of a cup of, mm -hmm. one fourth of a cup a day mm -hmm. for 32 days. So it will one keep you One fourth alive. of a cup? Yeah, very small. It's so nutrient dense. And that was when she was really sick. So yeah. a normal person needs to eat what? Yeah. Well, you can, so what I'm like saying a is, yeah. <laughs> but, well, when they're fasting, if you're doing a first time fast, which you won't get to for a long time, but I tell people to have a little bone broth with a lot of salt in it. Yeah. And when it's that nutrient dense, they really don't need anything else. But what I use it for is if I make any kind of soup or I make any kind of like cream sauce that I'm going to put over top of pork chops or pork or something with bacon I'll put cream cheese in with that and bacon. then any kind of spice and it tastes really good right. like it makes cooking super easy so I brought you some of that um I'm all drinking right. coffee at eight o'clock at night perfect you know we are not judging <laughs> <laughs> no judgments allowed all right so those are the chicken feet I, I, I almost those. touched them yeah I know I, I have a I, ha I did a live once where I held one up and I <laughs> 
<laughs> it went over very well. <laughs> All right, so this is some halibut. So fish is on the oh, list, but yes, yes. Um, sometimes getting that in South Dakota is like a nightmare. So yeah, well, thank uh, you. My son went to Alaska, has a whole bunch of halibut in the freezer. Okay, yeah. so, so how now, do you make that? You know, what I do is a whole bunch of butter. Okay. And I, you know, I thought out, but put a whole bunch of butter, put it under the broiler, put it on for maybe like, you know, 10 to 15 minutes until you can take a fork and it kind of flakes apart. Mm -hmm. And then I put a I put a cream butter sauce with it. Mm -hmm. well, that sounds it's like amazing. Like Jeez. my kids are like, we don't like fish, and then they serve it, and they're like, it's all gone. I'm like really, nope, nobody likes fish. Yeah. yeah, you guys look like you was disgusting. Yeah, yeah, it was awful. Awesome. All right, so now we're gonna get to some South Dakota traditions. This is spam. Yeah, so spam is on the list. Have you ever had spam? Mm -mm. Right? Neither mm -mm. have I. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, so what is spam? Spam is very fatty meat. If you haven't had, you know, the first time I had spam. I was in Haiti. There's spam everywhere in Haiti. And we were so like exhausted. And the only food that was around was spam. <laughs> and they fried it up and it was like crispy. It was like bacon. It was really good. They could put that in the air fryer? Oh yeah. And it's yeah. really good. So the other thing It sounds like the worst thing I could ever make for my I'm gonna air fry <laughs> spam. spam. Right? <laughs> and that's gonna make me healthy. <laughs> so, so one of the best ways I've heard to use spam is they take it and they do something where they make it crispy like that. Yeah. So I think they were broiling, but an air cooker would probably be amazing, right? Yeah. And they used it as chips for guacamole. Heck yeah. Yeah, it was really good. So I have the creative things you can do with Spam. Now, the reason I like Spam is it doesn't go bad. You oh. can put it in the fridge or, you know, people say, ah, I'm just not prepared for a keto diet. I'm like, yeah, but there are some hacks out there. That's one of them. Spam's one of them, folks. All right. Not be on a keto diet without bacon. Oh. So there's some bacon. There we go. Yes. Um, this is one of my favorite finds. These uh, are sausage patties. Yeah. And um, like air cooker, really good. Uh, other things that I put with it is I. Looks from like a locker? Yeah. These are. That looks how like my dad gets them packaged. Right. Yeah. So they're from Hot Rice. Yeah. I love the Hot Rice. So they give me chicken feet, they give me. My, my dad doesn't have chicken feet. No, yeah, I don't my, my dad did not either. So I didn't know those existed until I was kindly introduced to them. All right, so something else that I was sure you didn't have in your um, your cupboard. Mm -mm, yeah, no, hell yeah. no. Yeah, so there are some mm -mm. Uh, nice uh, sardines in oil. And I will tell you that you're going to want these, okay? So as much as you think, I thought they were awful. I'd never had them. And I thought, for sure, I will not like these. Uh, not, not true. It's like, um, you know how, if you ever had tuna that was like tangy or bitter, like mm -hmm. ever have a tuna that just didn't taste uh -huh. right out of a can? Okay. So it's the opposite of that, but it's still like salty, satisfying. I, I was way, <laughs> way impressed. Like I did it to satisfying. Like, wow. I ate the whole can and then I didn't eat again for like another day. Is there like fish eyes in there? No, no, no. So, so <laughs> that's true. There's all, some of them come with heads and guts. Yeah, I know. So these are headless um, and the guts. Uh, yeah, so there's, um, but you will be impressed. So especially if anybody in your family was going to like recover from a surgery, the calcium absorption that you get out of the bones from fish is incredibly absorbable. Like if you look right. at uh, calcium, you can pop the pills but there are several obstacles that get in the way for how well you absorb it. You kind of overcome all of them with sardines. My kids actually have eaten them. It sounds ridiculous. And they didn't die. They did not die. Okay. Um, I this love uh, mufulata. Have I ever told you about this? Mm -mm. I was gonna bring something. So mufulata is another thing I didn't know about before keto. Yeah. It is olives. It's called olive salad in a jar. And it's like <laughs> green olives and pickled olives and like, Olive olives. Olive olives. Like it is, if you were going to can um, like the Mediterranean diet, what's in my mind for Mediterranean oh, yeah, diet, yeah. it would be like, you know, roasted peppers and olives. Oh yeah, I think I've seen this before. And it actually is like, there's some with like a little jalapeno in it, so it's a nice spice. Yeah. So I mix that with this and go to town. Eat it. And then you scoop it up with your fried spam. Yeah. That's exactly what we do. <laughs> so I brought you some avocado oil. Avocados oh, are on the list, but avocado oil is another one of those. If you have awesome. it around, you'll use it. Um, it doesn't work as well for frying. We want you using lard for frying. So when you make your bacon, how do you make bacon? Your air cooker? 
Um, I have not done that. Yeah. I usually just make it in the oven. Okay, so if you make it in the oven and you have it on a slatted uh, thing, make sure it drains into a pan where you can keep the lard. So, I'll show you something you're going to be so proud of. You have because lard? I knew oh that I was going to be starting this. <gasps> she has lard in the fridge. You are going to make it. This is going to be a success. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Okay, so, so what do I do with that? I fry your eggs in it. Like oh. the most delicious eggs. And you so can... do you keep lard in the fridge? Because I wasn't even really sure where you yeah. kept that. So I just put it in the fridge for <laughs> safekeeping. <laughs> no, my grandmother used to keep a bucket of it under the sink. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> I saw at like, I don't even know, some home store. They have like um, bacon, like bacon fat little containers now. Yeah, it's uh, the rage. So <laughs> We're so cool. I know, right? So the bacon fat should should harden at room temperature. And so theoretically, you don't need to keep it in the fridge. Sure. But strangely enough, I keep mine there too. Just seems safer. I know. <laughs> I, I actually have a couple where I've put them in the Ziploc bags because they just, like the containers, they look disgusting. And if I can hide them from the kids, then they don't get thrown away. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, there sure. you go. All right. <clears throat> so this, I thought I would make a little drink for tonight for you while we're doing this. So I've oh. used coconut cream. No. Okay. So this is, it's called coconut milk, but there's a little trick. So we're gonna let that sit in the freezer for a few minutes and then we're gonna show you how to make the world's best. Do you happen to have any cream? No? no? Okay, so that's why I brought that. I thought, I oh, she doesn't have cream. Okay, so um, the next one is uh, your very own Dr. Boss ketones in a can. You have your, your, oh my God, you're on there. Isn't that great? I'm on you're Amazon. Famous. <laughs> Those She's are Insta famous. These are, this is ketones in a can. So this is the so one. So how do you want to drink that? That's what I was going to make you tonight. I was going to let you taste it and I was going to let the boys taste it because it's yeah. worth just saying this is not bad. This what do you is need my that? kids. Well, we'll wait in a minute. We'll wait for that to freeze a little bit because we'll want, I want to show you how to use that coconut milk. But these are going to help you start. Uh -huh. This is the beginning. Dropping this off is, ketones so you don't mm -hmm. get the keto flu. Exactly. This okay. is how you biohack it. You do not do this all on your own. Uh, try, try, try to just say what can what can are they better than those one ones that oh, yeah. you gave me that one time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I I just taste some of oh. and you'll see that it's not bad. It's just oh no, that tastes like raspberry. Yeah. Right. So I'll show you the way that I so make it. And Actually. I um, my kids when I when they're sick. Okay. So the other thing I brought you was um, we won't put this on oh. here because but I have. If you, for the best shakes in the morning. So I, yeah. I heard that there's a son that doesn't like to eat breakfast. So I said, mm -hmm. here's what I do with my kids. I take one of these packages. I take a um, good half a cup of cream, heavy cream. Okay. Um, put some ice in the blender. Okay. And then I put coffee in it because yeah. everything's better with coffee. Well, yes. And so then I blend it up. Get your it, motor going. It really turns into like ice cream. Really? With coffee flavor. I mean, it's really amazing. Oh, like, can I have it? Yeah, if I don't have breakfast. Yeah, yeah, you can. So, <laughs> give me a favor. Tell me how many carbs are in each packet. Nine grams. Yeah. So it is a little heavy on carbs. So you might want to watch that. But um, when you're trying for a teenager that's growing, it's the ratio is still going to be, especially when you make it with heavy cream. Okay. So the biggest mistake people and make. And why do you want heavy cream? Because that's got fat. Oh, what's that going to do? So the fat switches the chemistry from being a carb-driven or glucose-driven energy, and that energy shoots up and shoots down, which causes this inflammation, causes weight gain, causes insulin, causes their brains to slow down. When we put fat in there, it suppresses their appetite so they don't need to eat every two hours. Sure. But it also is where the chemistry shift happens in the body where it starts wanting to use fat for fuel. Mm -hmm. The body prefers that uh, when once it's been trained, okay. but our bodies in America haven't been trained and so the biggest mistake people make with a protein shake is they They don't mix it with fat. They mix it with like skim milk or water Sure, and that turns into way more protein than anything else and it'll make your insulin go up You'll have an insulin response and then it's it's like drinking a bunch of carbs drinking a bunch of bananas or something <laughs> So that doesn't help you much So interesting. Okay, <clears throat> okay half a cup of Heavy whipping cream. So, Jules, you got that? All right. This is gracious. Uh, you got all sorts of goodies, yeah. my friend. So I thought you would be oh, stacked so for success. Yes. Isn't that's it going to be awesome good? That's awesome of you. Okay. That's our beginning. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to do this. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you want me to give you a ring the next time I put out content, click that little bell.